Trina and today I am doing an unbagging of the Uppercase book subscription service and I've never had an Uppercase subscription before so they sent me this for review so they sent me the box or the bag for free but this is not like a paid review or anything they just asked for an honest review to kind of help spread the word about their service so what Uppercase is is a monthly book subscription much like Owlcrate which I did recently post a review video on them too so you can kind of compare and contrast the two if you want to and I'll put a link to that video down below. I'm also going to have a link to all of Uppercase's information in the description also. I really like that the Uppercase plan gives you two options. You can either choose the option to get just the book for $13.99. You'll get a brand new YA hardcover release, $13.99, and then you'll pay $6 just for the shipping. That is a good price for a book, like a new release in hardcover. They usually run you at least $18. Or you can choose their other plan. You still get the same book, but you also get one to two bookish merch items. That plan costs $23.99 a month and then also it's the $6 for shipping and I just think that that's really cool that they offer you two different plans. So the uppercase thing comes in a padded mailer like this and on the inside is the little bag. I think I have the one with goodies in it so I'm gonna try to just reach in here and not spoil it for me. What is this? Okay so first up this is an Alice in Wonderland scarf. So you've got the print there, there's a little picture of Alice. On the back there is the Cheshire Cat and the Hatter, and there's a text of the book all down it, and these little fringe tassels on both ends. This is actually really cool. I have like no bookish scarves at all, and so this is very unique. Guys, I am reading Heartless right now, and like the mock turtle scene, oh, it really got my heartstrings. Like if you guys have read that book, you know what I mean. So this is really fitting. It's kind of a coincidence that I'm reading an Alice in Wonderland retelling right now and I got this scarf. If you really love Alice in Wonderland and you like the little look of like the printed scarves, I think this is pretty cute. And this scarf is exclusive to uppercase. Okay, let me feel around and see what else is in here. The next item that I pulled out is a magnet. I'm not going to show you the front because I'm just going to go ahead and show you the book because it will tell you what the book is. It is, I know of it, but I don't know the author. It is Frost Blood by Ellie Blake. So this one I think is a debut. And the little magnet had Frost Blood on the front of it also. This one is a YA fantasy about a girl who has magic. So this is a world where fire and ice are kind of at war. The rulers have ice powers and our main character actually has fire power and she's hidden it her entire life. And then she finds herself wrapped up in a rebellion that wants these fire users to overthrow the ice users. And the main character ends up being captured by the king and forced to compete in this challenge where she has to take on the king's best champions and she's going to use that to actually maybe try to take on the king and end his reign and meanwhile she has fallen in love with a frost blood with an ice user and she's a fire user and so obviously they're not supposed to be together. I think it sounds pretty interesting and this book is a signed copy and frost blood is actually a debut that I have heard about because I'm gonna plug myself here I do have a Goodreads group called YA Debut Source and this one came out just in January it came out January 10th so I have heard about it and this is a first novel in a new trilogy so I think it's always really cool when an author gets signed for like a whole series with their first book deal there's also a little bookmark in the bag and this one is part of the reading experience so I will have to go to this website and figure out what this pertains to but I do know that Uppercase has a Goodreads group that is set up for people to read and discuss this book together so that's really cool that you can connect with other people who've gotten the same book and also you get a little note from Lisa who I believe is the founder of Uppercase and she says that it takes a lot for fantasy books to impress her but this one really did and it blew her away so that definitely makes me more excited to read this one because it's like I get it you know sometimes fantasy books you just get kind of overwhelmed by them all but for a debut to have blown her away I think that's pretty cool and then this was in the very bottom of my bag I didn't notice it at first but it's this little seed paper so this is like cut out into the shape of a book but you can actually plant this and it'll grow some kind of flowers I'm not sure what seeds are in this but I'm gonna plant it and find out so that's it for my uppercase unboxing my review of it is that I definitely like the plans that they have available on their website so like you can choose between just the book or the book and the goodies so I definitely think that that's a huge huge pro to this plan so I would recommend uppercase and it does seem like their prices for each month subscription is a little bit less costly than the Owlcrate subscription but Owlcrate does come with like more of the goodies and stuff so it just depends on what kind of an option that you want. I'm really looking forward to reading this book please let me know if you guys are wanting to read this one too or if you've read it what your thoughts are on it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!